Hello, I'm John from Interboxing and I'm here with Tony Con Conquest. <laughs> Hello, I'm John from Interboxing, and for anybody who doesn't know who you are, I'm Tony Conquest. The reason I've just done that is because I couldn't pronounce his name. <laughs> right, so we're here again at the um, Ultimate Box of Four Cruiserweight. How do you feel, mate? Yeah, fantastic. Yeah, got myself in good shape, feeling good. Just, just waiting there, two weeks to go. So I was doing a bit of research yesterday, which is a very rare thing that I do. And I, I watched your last fight, and on your record, people say you got KO'd, but that might give them a bit of confidence. But watching the fight, it, it were a bit of an um, unfortunate injury. Do you want to talk us through that? Yeah, what it was was, a, you know, I didn't get major notice for the fight. I took the fight, went over to Italy, obviously, opponent's hometown, fighting for a WBC international silver title in his, in his backyard. Um, unfortunately for me, uh, I wasn't very well about three weeks before it, had a bit of a virus. And no excuses, you know, I got, I got caught with a good shot in the eye, my eye closed game over I'm very lucky that I've got a cornerman and trainer and manager in Peter Sims who is more interested in my well-being than anything else and as soon as he saw my eye from where he was in the corner he threw the towel in I think what that's going to do though is that's going to prepare you you know because it's obviously a big fight a big fight for a big belt it's going to prepare you for this a lot of these lads have have, have never had anything you know as as big as that so coming into this you it's not like it's your, you know, your debut on a big show. So that's going to prepare you big time. Oh, of course it is. Yeah, I mean, everyone else in the competition is younger than me, fresher than me. You know, they're all fast, young whippersnappers. So I've got to be on my, you know, my best form. But luckily enough, I'm very lucky that I'm in the matchroom gym, uh, Tony Sims' gym, with my trainer, Peter Sims. And uh, there's some fantastic talent in there. And I'm in there with fresh, young, fast fighters. And they're bringing out the best in me. So... On fight night, you'll see the best. Do you think you've had to change the way you box for this format? Uh, I think everyone has to change their style a little bit. I mean, like I say, some of the lads in here obviously are, are still closer to to the amateur style than they are the pro style. Obviously, that's not, not everyone, but a couple of them are. So uh, you have to be prepared. You have to be ready to, to you know change up what's, with what's in front of you. If you've got someone in front of you who's running, you've got to go out. If you've got someone in front of you who's coming at you, you've got to box them. You know, you just got to change, like I say, with what's in front of you. This is a great opportunity, not just not just for the show, but financial rewards as well. You know, has your training been any different for this, um, this particular fight? A lot more sprints and a lot more explosive, fast stuff. A lot more of that. But, um, but I've handled it right and I feel good. So we'll see. Um, well, I'm John from Interboxing and I wish you all the best. Good luck. Thank you very much. Cheers, mate. Good, mate, yeah?